to solve this trigonometric equation, sine of 2 theta minus sine of theta equals 0. So we replace sine of 2 theta with 2 sine of theta times cosine theta. That's our trig identity. And to do minus here sine of theta, this is still equal to 0. Now observe that both terms have a sine theta. So pull that out. So it's going to be sine of theta. And within the brackets, you can leave that 2 cosine theta minus the 1 in that position. So the 1 is coming from having a sine of theta times 1 over here. And then keep the set equal to 0. Now this is solved by doing the following. Take sine of theta, set that equal to 0 first. So that means that theta would be equal to the following. You got to take a copy of the unit circle here. Over here, if you look carefully, you see at 0 radians, the y coordinate is 0, which is what sine of theta means. So that means that 0 is one of them. But besides that, you can also spin all the way around this way and come back to 0. Or you can spin in the opposite direction this way and also come back to 0. Which means that back here, what you have to say is that it's 0 plus k times times 2 pi. So k is the number of turns. k positive, that means that you are turning this way when the k is positive, and when the k is negative, you're turning this way in the opposite direction, you see? Now also take a look. Over here you see at pi radians, the y coordinate is also equal to 0. So there's another possibility then for theta. So theta can also be equal to the following pi, and then you can add to it k times 2 pi this way. If k is positive, then starting from pi, it's like kind of turning this way, you see? And if k is negative, then starting from pi, it's kind of like turning this way. And you go, for example, once around, you come back to here, you see, where the y coordinate is again equal to 0. Or starting from pi, you go in the opposite direction this way, and you again come back to 0. That's why you have to have a pi plus k times pi. The other possibility, let's do that on this side here. That would be that 2 cosine of theta minus 1 is equal to 0, which means 2 cosine of theta is equal to 1, which means then divided by 2, that cosine of theta is equal here to 1 divided by 2. So now, what solves this? Well, again, grab a copy of the unit circle. We have to remember that cosine theta is just a fancy way of talking about the x-coordinate of each point on a unit circle. So look on a unit circle. You see, look very carefully right here. You see, that's an x-coordinate of 1 half, and that occurs at pi over 3. And then if you go all the way around this way, it comes back to here. You see, you go all the way around and you come back to here. Or starting from pi over 3, we can also go in the opposite direction and come back to an x-coordinate of 1 half. Which means, as the first solution here, you would say that theta is equal to the following. Pi divided by 3 plus k times 2 pi. That's not enough, however. Take a look. So over here... Beginning again from the point one zero, keep going around the circle, and then you gotta stop at this point right here. You see where it says five pi over three, because then the x coordinate there is equal to one half also. So you have to then begin from five pi over three, and you could go a one more time around and another time around, and you would always come back to an x, co x coordinate of one half. Or beginning from five pi over three, you could go the opposite direction this way, and then again then the opposite direction this way, and you would come back to an x coordinate of 1 half. So for that reason over here, you would say, beginning from 5 pi over 3, you would do plus k times 2 pi. A positive k here means the following. For example, for the first one, where it begins at pi over 3, positive k means you'd be turning this way. Negative k means you'd turn this way. Same applies for the second one, for the lower one, beginning with 5 pi over 3. A positive k basically would mean that you're turning this way. Beginning from 5 pi over 3, a negative k would mean that you're turning this way. And you're going to come back to the same after each 2 pi. So these are the solutions here. Thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.